So welcome back. My name is Paul. I'm making a series about uh, answers that are forthcoming and human understanding is approaching that are changing our world. And this particular segment is about a revelation that really a lot of people talk about these days and it's really common knowledge in many respects, but the significance of it and the really the deeper understanding of the meaning of this fact is not very well known or we don't think about very much. And that is that human thought has power. A lot of people have, you know, simplified and say, well, you get up in the morning, you think I want a Mercedes, and then you keep thinking about it, and you go hard work, and you, you know, you put up your, save up your dollars, and next thing you know, you get a Mercedes, and then you, that kind of thinking in, in terms, what I'm talking about is something a little more profound. And if you look back through at history, you realize that there's been a lot of incredible, incredible things that came about because just a few or a single or individuals like Shakespeare and Beethoven and just amazing amount of long distance, time-wise significance of just a single person's thought. And every single one of us has potential and Regardless, even if you'd never, ever, ever really accomplish anything, you don't write a symphony, you don't write a fantastic book or anything, but you bring some children into the world, or you affect somebody else's life, maybe you help them, maybe your career helps people, you walk through this life and every single person, the results of their thoughts are incredibly powerful. We don't realize that. The collective thought. Collective thinking is an immense power. When people understand something individually, and then you understand something in a larger group, and people put thought to work collectively, it's really incredibly powerful. Now, what does that mean? A lot of people, okay, well, I know that, or maybe, oh, that sounds silly, or whatever, the reaction. But the significance is, if we understand, look, everything that we do, you know, I took computer-aided drafting years ago, and I know how to draw and so on, and the textbook is saying that every single item, like if you have a phone or a computer or a car or whatever, every screw in that car and every piece of that car, somebody made a drawing for somehow. They had a visualization. They had to. The engineers had to have some, okay, well, what is the dimensions? What's the shape? It has to be precise. So the power of our thinking we underestimate it, I believe. And every single person, well, maybe not every single person, but a lot of people have books in them that they've never written. They have art in them they've never expressed. They have songs they've never sung, or maybe they have. So what I'm getting at is the power that we have collectively, you know, if we go through difficult times, you know, 2012 and big chaos in the world and environmental change and all kinds of amazing stuff and personal difficulties, the power of our thoughts and our attitudes are really immense. And I really believe that as people sort of wake up to that and start to really reflect, well, what does that really mean? That means that, you know, you can get up in the morning on a single day and do something that day because of a thought that you had or an intention that you had that had immense significance to other people in a positive way you can do things for yourself and so I really believe that this is a part of a process I've, I've been giving a lot of videos about the change that I believe our, our planet is going through our cosmos, our psyche, our planetary psyche, there's so much going on it's like everybody's dreams and nightmares are coming true. If you want a horrible nightmare, you can find it on this earth right now. If you want a fantastic nightmare or a fantastic dream or reality, you can have that too on this earth right now. It's all existing, but the thing is that what our intention is, what we focus on, our thoughts getting more significant as we go through because we realize, well, wait a minute here. That means that if I spend hours and hours and hours a day thinking about well, all the terrible things that are going to happen to me and I'm going to die someday and I might get this disease or that disease. I mean, guess what? After a while, you probably 
harm yourself. In the same way, if you get up every day and you think, well, today I'm going to really do something, I'm going to feel great, I'm going to try to take care of my health, I'm going to do something good for another being, I'm going to learn a new skill maybe or something, today. I mean, the power of that. Now, a lot of people I know realize this that are watching, and sometimes we just need inspiration because there's a lot of crap out there. There's a lot of people out there, and they know the power of thinking, and they're doing a lot of negative stuff, harmful stuff, designing war machines and designing all kinds of weird, horrible conspiracies, and people think that way. So the counter has to be, look, people have to realize, look, we can think completely different. I mean, every one of us can start saying, look, I'd rather have peace and creativity than conflict and destruction. It's very simple. Now, most people can just say, look, that's, you know, do I want peace and creativity or do I want conflict and destruction? Hmm. Now, there are politicians or whoever, or warriors, they, whatever, they don't care. They say, yeah, I love conflict and I like destruction. But most people in the world, most people would say, you know what? I think I'm just going to go for the creativity and the peace. And that can happen. Now, again, to the power of intention. People can create things. If music has power, there's inventions. Every single person has access to infinite energy and understanding within contact with others and now in our technology our civilization has all kinds of technology that's available to us to create so I believe that this phenomena waking consciousness in realizing the power of our thoughts is actually going to change our planet not overnight but I mean there's a lot of things that anybody can do. There's so many tasks that could be done. Uh, a lot of people are doing nursing or other kinds of inventions. There's all kinds of things that people can do. So I really encourage some feedback, and I'm getting a lot of interesting contacts with people now. I've gotten links and other YouTube sections. I really appreciate the feedback. So um, we're on like this big floating ball I got in the background there, a big earth were floating through space, and it just puts me into perspective. I like to look at that thing and realize, you know, I'm just a little dot here, but amazingly significant in some way. So um, I look forward to making a lot more contacts and appreciate you watching.